53. I will mention the world record is held by Maria Mottola, 230.94. So they made the first target is that British record, and what a performance it would be. It will be Laura Muir with Kate Grace um, just slotting in behind there. And Jenny has to judge this right, not too fast, not too slow. Perfect pacemaking. She wants to be about 29 seconds because Laura would like to be running about 30 seconds a lap and then finish as strong as she can. Laura Muir, very much a runner who runs, has the speed from the strength, so she needs to have that even pace. And Jenny is just perfectly experienced as a pacemaker, as a racer. Laura's worked with her all season, and she's slotted in happily there behind her, just sitting a little bit back off. Maybe she feels the pace is a little bit too quick. And like Steve said, the only danger in this race, I think, is Kate Grace, who's following every move that Laura Muir's making. Yeah, it's maybe that Jenny knew she'd gone a tad slow on the first lap and speeded up a bit too much for Laura. And of course, Laura caught her very good at 800 meters, there's 59.65, so she's aiming at an even pace, two minutes, two minutes, one, around that, so she's spot on at the moment, but Kate Grace, sub two minute performer herself, hanging on, trying to hang on to Laura Muir, this is a great distance for 1500 meter runners, particularly those who've got good 800 meter pace, like Laura Muir, and she's going to attack this now, because Jenny won't last too much longer, and now she moves out to the side. Now Laura is where she likes to be, at the front, Racing against the clock, and she does this so well, time and time again. A little bit more daylight, opening up back to Kate Grace now, who I don't think is going to be able to get back on terms with Laura Muir. So it is now just her against the clock and just trying to get every ounce of energy out of those legs that she can. The British record, 232.96. She was up on that record pace at 600 metres. Kelly went through in 2.2 to 800 metres. She's going to be inside that. What time could she do on the last lap? She's close to world record pace. Has she got anything left in these legs? The British record is in sight. And Laura Muir doing what she does best, digging deep, grimacing down the back straight. The crowd doing the best to lift her. This is hard. The legs are tired now, but she's still driving hard. Laura Muir coming round the top end, chasing this British record. She won't be too far off the world record. 230.94 is the world record, 232 the British record, she's done it! She's taken almost a second off the British record, held by Kelly Holmes. Back in 2004, that great Olympic year, and uh, who knows what Laura Muir has now ahead of her over the next three or four years, World Championships in London. And she, one thing you know with Laura, she will run and run and run into the ground. She will run herself until there's nothing left to give. Well done, Jenny Meadows, for setting the pace. So a new British record there. For a moment, Paula, I thought the world record was on. Just a little tired, understandably, on the last lap. I mean, this is proper world class, real, real, real. Not only world class in 2017, but all time world class 1,000 meter running. That's the second fastest ever at that distance. I mean, it's phenomenal running, but don't forget she's also in the middle of winter training, building towards a 1,500-metre, 3,000-metre double in the indoors. So this is really speed end of her spectrum for her, and she really worked for that. And I just wonder whether she had half an eye on an 800-metre PB through there. I don't know whether there is a clock table to give her that, but she was very close to that, and certainly the slowest... 200 of that race was the last lap and she was really really tired and you could see by the way she fell over as she crossed the line and collapsed to the ground completely exhausted but that's what Laura Muir does best is getting every little bit out of herself and chasing and not letting up until she's well over that line just on that point you made she just missed the Scottish indoor record for 800 meters which is held by Lindsay Sharp she ran two minutes 0.5 Lindsay's record is two minutes 0.30 um, and you're right, 31.4 for the last two, and look how tired she, she is. But you're right, you made a very good point there. This is the winter. I saw her in South Africa training. You know, she's in phenomenal shape, and she's just got to hold this together to walk the summer. She's, of course, going to those Europeans and run two events, we understand. Um, what a year she's got in prospect. Well, she's tired from... Uh, she's a great endurance athlete, so, of course, she's recovered. Of course, she has.